will appoint external advisors to evaluate restructuring. Rakesh Arora joins in with more details and to give us some sense on whatever the details have come in right now, what it means for this particular company and the stock. Rakesh, what do you make of uh, the external advisor and also restructuring to have separate entities for the different businesses? So, so it's uh, important for the promoters as you know that they have 6.4 billion dollar of debt and uh, they might need to sell some assets so having you know separate businesses and separate companies uh, you know make it easy for them to choose which comp you know business to hold on to and which to sell that is one number two is that uh, when you have a conglomerate there is normally a holding company discount which creeps in so having separate segments would actually reduce that holding company discount and Three, I would say that, you know, for retail shareholders, uh, you know, there's a value unlocking uh, if they are holding on to it because, as I said, the holding company discount goes away. So it's uh, reasonable, you know, from both angles, uh, from retail shareholders as well as from promoters' point of view. But what more details would you watch out for here, Rakesh? Because having an independent advisor and a committee to take forward the restructuring may take a little time. And also the entire restructuring process may take time while their debt concerns are immediate. How do you read into this aspect? So, you know, immediately, you know, it's right that it will take time. And there are some of the companies... Uh, uh, you know, the price discovery could be an issue. Uh, this was an issue last time also when they had tried uh, something similar uh, a few years back. So I think their immediate concern is a billion dollar of repayment which is coming up in January 24. And uh, they are making an effort to roll over. Uh, if they are able to roll over that debt, I think uh, that would uh, considerably ease the concern on the group. So I think that is the first uh, thing to watch out for in, in terms of stock performance. And uh, uh, beyond that, I think uh, we need to see the details, you know, what kind of restructuring these guys are proposing and, you know, what could be a fallout uh, uh, from that. So I can't really comment uh, immediately on uh, the restructuring thing. Uh, but, you know, the rollover of $1 billion of debt is uh, the critical item to watch out for. That's right, Rakesh. But how do you see the government uh, interference in this particular bit, uh, considering that government has stake in Hindustan Zinc? Any uh, any thoughts on that uh, bit as well? And recently, we have seen a little bit of um, a, a friction between the government as well as the company on various aspects regarding other assets. So, let me see. Vedanta owns 64.9% in Hindustan Zinc. And... Uh, if that share is distributed uh, to Vedanta shareholders, there will be a huge value unlock uh, for them. And because Hindustan Zinc market cap is way ahead of uh, what Vedanta's is. And uh, so from that aspect, it's positive. Secondly, uh, you know, I don't think uh, government needs to sell, uh, but I don't think Vedanta has the wherewithal to really bid for that stake. So um, it will have to be sold to retail investors, etc. And if the free float goes up in Hindustan, then it becomes much more investable, I would think. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, all right, Rakesh, thank you so much for joining us with your insights. By the way, it's